Hi everybody, how are you? First of all, I'd like to take this opportunity to apologise for the fact that all through this video you're going to hear a low droning sound. Uh, that's because of my microphone. Uh, just got this microphone, headset, you know, brand new. And I've noticed that when I plug it in, I plug the microphone in, then I end up recording this low droning sound that you can obviously hear because I've tested it. Uh, when I unplug it, the only sound if you can hear, apart from me and like background noise, is the fans whirring when they whir. But when I plug this one in, you can't hear fans or background noise. You can only hear me talking. Uh, probably sound like this. And uh, this horrible low pitched droning. And I fucked around with all my audio settings and can't get rid of it. So if you know how to get rid of it, let me know because I really want to sort this out. Because the whole reason I got this bloody microphone was so that I could use it. Because the built in ones are no good when recording games. Hopefully this one's better. I haven't even I haven't tested that yet. I want to fix the fucking drone first. So basically the point of this video is I'm looking for this game. Now it's not a computer game, it's not an Xbox game or whatever, it's not a board game. It's a stand up game along the lines of Connect 4. You know, on the actual thing that you stand up and you drop things into it. It's a free it's a five by three uh stand up thing. With a three by three scoring zone. And basically it's like tic tac toe or knots and crosses. You have red and yellow pieces I think like Connect 4 and I think you have no one of them each. Possibly, I don't know. And basically it, it looks uh sorry about the crudeness of this drawing, but it looks a bit like that. Uh this is your base obviously. This is your scoring area. And my version was blue, so the base was blue. These two vertical lines here and here were blue, and I think the top line was blue. So basically, you put your pieces into the three middle ones, and you try and make three in a row, or in a column, or in a diagonal, uh, along like it would with tic tac toe. Uh, but if no one wins, well, then the game becomes more interesting because you can actually slide the rows left and right. So this one has been slid to the left. Which means the piece that was in this one, which has gone from here to there, will drop out. Because if you're outside the game scoring area, you, it drops out. Which means that this one that was over here has now dropped down into the empty one that was stuck out over here allowing you to put a piece in the top. This can be further accentuated by sliding another row, like in this one we slide, slid the bottom row to the right, uh, causing the piece that was pushed to here, if it has, oh no that one's already dropped out, causing this piece that was actually over here to drop out, making these two pieces drop down, allowing you to put another piece in the top. Right. And basically you keep playing, you keep sliding pieces along and putting pieces back in the top or until you connect three in a row, basically. And that's how the game works, and that's how the game is played. Now I used to own this game, which is the weird thing about it, and but I forgot what it's called. And I used to love playing it. it sounds so sad, doesn't it? I used to love playing the bloody version of Tic Tac Toe. I've sort of googled it uh, to no avail, and uh, I thought the best way to find something out about games, any form of game, is to stick it on YouTube and ask the YouTube community about it. I thought I had coffee in that cup. Obviously not. And so hopefully you guys can tell me what it is. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unplug my microphone now, so you can see the difference in what it actually sounds like. So the drone will disappear in 3, 2, 1. And it's gone. Or well, it should be by now. So this is 
now you can hear everything that the microphones pick up. So this one is obsolete at the moment. My uh, Captain Scarlet microphone. Or as Bill Bailey would call it, the Britney Spears microphone. It makes him look like a wizard in a call center. Or a Klingon motivational speaker. Uh, that was from Bill Bailey's program Part Troll, I think. But I digress. And the reason I'm looking for that game is because I really enjoy playing it. And if I could find like a multiplayer version of it, whether it be multiplayer on one computer or multiplayer across the internet, it'd be great because I'd love to play against other people. Uh, and it's one of the games I used to love playing. I also used to love playing um, Morris. Nine men's Morris. As opposed to 3, 6 or 12 or 11. Uh, which is uh, on a board that looks like that. And it's using like uh, drafts pieces. Or checkers pieces, if you're American, you want to call it checkers. Uh, and you slide them around, try and make three in a row. And if you make three in a row, you can take one of the opponent's pieces. And the game continues until one person's got only two pieces. Or no one can make a move, basically. It would help. Like a stalemate, basically. But if you get down to like three pieces each and no one can make a move, well then you're not playing the game right. Uh, so I used to love playing that, uh, which is good, and I also like to play Fonorona, I think that's how you pronounce it, and both Morris and Fonorona are in the new game Assassin's Creed 3, you can play it towards the beginning of the game, and I'll be linking to a video uploaded by Scorch82 of him actually playing these two games on Assassin's Creed. Um, Fun Alone is a pretty weird game. It's like English drafts, but on a different shaped board. Uh, I also used to love playing Bantu Me, uh, which I used to have on my Nokia 3310 mobile phone, uh, which is, was quite some time ago. Say so Nokia 3310 to someone now, and they're like, what's that then? It's an old mobile phone, back before they used to put cameras on them. It, it called, it texted, it had a calendar, a calculator, four like, basic games, or, two, or whatever, and that was it. You had no internet access, you, you I think, you couldn't, I don't think you could download other games, but you'd say, like, Nucky 3310, and they're like, what's that then? But the sequence of the game on there, you could use the same sequence every single time or win the game every single time. And once I did that three times, I stopped playing. But I like the game, and it's best to play against a human, because they react differently to how the computer reacted. And, um, so I used to play that a lot. And the other one I used to play was, uh, it was like Connect 4. Well, it was done on a grid, and you slid your pieces along the grid, and you only have four pieces, and your opponent only have four pieces, and it's a bit like Morris, except you can move in any direction like that, you know, around the, around the uh, grid. You can go across the whole, the whole way, and then go up and down the whole way, and then go noot, 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 like that. And you have to make four in a row, or four in a column, or four in a diagonal. Like it will connect four, and each person took it in time. Uh, each of the two players took it in turns moving in their piece one space, and it took quite a while. And you could block each other from moving, which I used to do a lot. So I used to play that a lot as well, and I also used to play. Uh, now we called it blackjack, but it wasn't. It's not called blackjack. It's a lot like Uno, or what. And, uh, yeah, played it with a deck of 52 playing cards, regular playing cards. And we set the rule, we had the rule set as ace to change the suit. Two means you pick up two, unless you've got two. And the next person pick up four, unless they've got two, and, and so on. Uh, three does nothing, four does nothing, five does nothing, 
6 does nothing. 7 changes the direction that you play in. 8 is miss a go, unless you've got an 8, then the next person misses 2 goes. I'm going to say got an 8, and so on and so on. 9 does nothing, 10 does nothing. A blackjack means you pick the next player picks up 7. And if they put down a blackjack, it means the next player picks up 14 instead. And a red jack cancels that out. Uh, queen does nothing, king does nothing. And basically you played it a lot like Uno, or what, W-H-O-T, not A-T. And what is what I appear, well, what I think is the original game. It probably isn't. But what is as far back as I can trace it with the same rules. And it's played with a specific set of cards. And I've also seen, I've seen several variations of this game, all with different names. I've even seen the Super Nintendo version of the game. And so, yeah, you just play that a lot as well. And I love that, I'm going to be like, Googling these games and trying to download them all again. Especially like chess, I used to like chess a lot as well. Now I used to play Morris a lot, and win every time. And I used to play chess a lot, and I'd win four out of five games. Mostly. mostly. But I actually beat the chess champion at my school, so yeah. So I'm quite good at these intelligent games, as you say. You know, ones that learn a lot of lateral thinking. Or need a lot of lateral thinking. And you have to plan two or three moves ahead. And I have played two games of chess at the same time, which is actually easier than it sounds. Especially if you play the way I played. Uh, so yeah, if anyone knows what this game, I'll share the whole diagram there. If anyone knows what this game is, then let me know, because I'm looking to get it again in some form or another. And if you play any of the other games I mentioned, like Bantu, Me, Morris, and, and whatever, then good on you, because they're classic games, and they should not be forgotten. And so I'm going to plug this microphone back in. And here comes a drone. And if you can help me with this drone, I'll be muchly appreciative. 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 <laughs> appreciative. And so, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again, quite soon. No, I won't, will I? You'll see me again, quite soon. Yeah. See you later.